Hebrews 11 1 says. Now faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. That's faith. Faith is born when man's abilities is not there, when it fails. Today we're going to look at a story of a lady who tried everything to fix her problem. Then she hears the story about Christ. This lady had got to a point in her life where she had hit rock bottom. We think rock bottom might be such a bad place. Let me tell you, he's waiting for you. Mark 5, starting at verse 25 through 34. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and spent all that she had had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, when she heard about him, she came up behind him in the crowd, touched his cloak. And because she thought, if I could just touch his cloak, I'll be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped. And she felt her body that she was free from herself. At once, Jesus realized the power had gone out of him. He turned around and in the crowd and asked, who touched me? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered. And yet, can you ask to touch me? But Jesus kept looking around to see what happened. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet, trembling with fear, and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be free from yourself. Three questions that this lady had to ask on this journey of meeting Jesus. Three questions all believers need to ask themselves about their faith when you go on this journey. The first one is, are you willing to put your faith into action? As soon as she heard about Jesus, she's like, I'm going after him. This guy heals. I want to see this Jesus. She decided to put her faith into action. Are you willing to risk it all? She had come up behind Jesus in the crowd, and she had touched his cloak. The second part of verse 27 into 28. And because she thought, if I could just touch his clothes, I would be healed. What risk will there be for her touching Jesus? Leviticus 15, 25. If a woman has discharge of blood for many days, other than the time of her customary impurity, or if it runs beyond her usual time of purity, all the days of her unclean discharge should be the days of her customary impurity. She shall be unclean. She's unclean. That means this lady couldn't go to the synagogue. If you sit there and you look at your own faith and your own walk, you're ready for some hope to come back into there. You're ready to see him, to meet him. Because when you hit rock bottom, you're ready for Jesus to be there for you. That's where we want to be. She had gotten there. And then one day she hears of a man named Jesus, a man that can heal. He heals the sick. Do you understand that? It's said that he can sit there and remove your sins. I love the attitude where she got up and she went. See, so many times when we look in the Bible, Jesus came to everybody to heal him. She didn't wait to take a chance. Is Jesus going to find out I'm sick and come see me? She said, no, I'm getting up and I'm going. How many times do you need to get up and go? Are you waiting for Jesus to show up any issue in your life? Are you going after him with everything you've got? She had a challenge yourself was she really ready to risk it all to see Christ how many times you feel like you've prayed to God and he's walking away from you Jesus where are you at and it's like I'm talking to his back but she did not give up she took off after him and said okay I might be I can't touch him but if I can touch something that touches the healer I'll be healed that's the faith that she had she wouldn't give up she had faith. Are you willing to be humiliated for it? Are you willing to swallow your pride to follow Christ? In verse 34, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. So the question is, do you want to press against Jesus this morning, today, this week? Or do you actually really want to touch Jesus? 